All right, now in this video, we're talking about next gen. Last time was current, this time is next again. So next is basically, for those of y'all that don't know, PS5, Xbox Series A, City version. So anyway, in the last video we made, we're talking about 10 things, or I talked about 10 things that I didn't think should return in 2K23 from 2K22 for the cruise ship version. And again, this time I'm talking about PS5 Series X version for 2K23. So number one, the first thing I feel like should not return is the walkway which is basically like the little fashion runway in the city. For those that don't have the city version, there's basically like a little fashion runway thing where you walk around on the actual little runway for like your fashion and all that. Cause basically, okay, I'm gonna just give some background, some more background. So in 2K22 city version, in the My Career Story, you have a path where you can choose to either be a music artist off the court or a fashion guy off the court. So if you choose fashion, you can walk on the runway, but I feel like that's pointless because it doesn't have, <laughs> the runway does not have nothing to do with basketball at all. I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. The music I could somewhat understand because of Damian Lillard, but that's because hip hop and basketball kind of have ties together and they've always been that way since like the 80s. But basketball don't really have ties to fashion because Russell Westbrook is the only guy you think of with fashion. So I don't see how, or why I should say they put fashion. Anyway, the runway should not return 2K23 for the city version because that's just stupid in my opinion. I don't understand why it's in there. Second on the list, the penthouse. The penthouse, I'm saying right now, the penthouse. What is the point in having a penthouse when all it does is give you faster transportation to your actual affiliations? That's all the penthouse does is give you faster transportation to the affiliations. But with the season rewards, which was go-karts and jetpacks, you can still get to your affiliations pretty quickly. So there's no point in having the penthouse at all. You can't go upstairs and you cannot interact with anything inside the penthouse. You can't watch TV, you can't play pool, you can't do nothing. There's no point in the penthouse other than just transportation to your affiliation. It's just stupid in my opinion, there's no point. So being that there's no point in the penthouse, it, all it is is just a little status thing for like bragging to your friends about. Like, oh, I want a championship, I got a penthouse, or I got a certain amount of points, I got a penthouse. It serves no point at all. It does nothing. Like, I'd rather have a mock court in the penthouse, I'm gonna be honest. But anyway, that's it for number two. On to number three, which is the third thing on my list, which is the course, the event center. The event center, where do I start with the event center? There is no point in the event center at all. What does the event center do? Nothing, nothing at all. And I'm gonna talk more about the event center in my actual possibilities city video that I'm gonna make for next gen. I don't know if I've made it already. I might have made the video might have already came out before this video did, but um, if it didn't, I'm just gonna say right now that um, I'm gonna talk about that um in my city video because the event center is pointless. All the event center is good for is giving us double XP, and that's really it. Other than that, I don't know. Like, what what does the event center do for us? It's super boring. It's just levels. There's just a lot of tedious walking. That nobody likes the event center and I can go on and on for the hours about the event center But there's plenty of the youtubers talking about it making videos about it So I ain't gonna talk about the event center at all that much All I'm gonna say is don't bring it back to 2K23 for the PS5 Series X version. There's no point Fourth on the list. I don't remember the name of the building But it's this one building in the city where you can play against NBA players only It's not the old gym I don't think and I don't think it's the factory either because I think the factory is 1v1, which is good. And the old gym is 3v3 with randoms, which is also good because it's instant matchmaking. But there's this other matchmaking building, I forgot what it's called. But anyway, you go in the building and I went there by mistake one time when I thought it was the old gym. But it's this one building where you go in and you get match made with two other teammates like the 3v3. But the only difference is instead of playing against three other players online, you're playing against three AI NBA players. So you can play against like Larry Bird, Kevin Durant, and Tim Duncan and you're playing with like two actual teammates, it's like real people against the AI. That's dumb, nobody, like what's the point in that when you have the old gym, what's the point? So I don't think that should come back to get 23 for the city version, I think it's pointless. And at number five, I almost didn't wanna put this one in here, but I'm probably, you know what? I might take this one back after making this video, but at the time I'm making this recording, I'm gonna say it right now, rooftop basketball. The rooftops playing against AI, it was a cool little story and I think it was, I'm not saying this was an L game mode or an L side thing you can do in the city. It was a little lowercase w in my opinion. I just don't feel like it should return for 2K23 for the city. I feel like it was good in 22 and 2K22 is where it should stay at. The rooftop basketball thing, the whole storyline of the rooftop basketball kind of reminded me of like NBA Street. Oh, you, you think you beat my team? You can't beat my team. You beat their team. Oh, you better than I thought you was. Then you recruit them after you beat them. It's like NBA Street Volume 2. I mean, it, it's cool in a sense in that sense, but at the same time, again, I don't feel like it had enough depth to where it should come back in 2K23. That's just my opinion. So, yeah, I'm just going to say it again. 2K23 for the city version. Don't bring back rooftop basketball. That's just me, though. Number six, pointless shops. Why can I go in a restaurant that I can't do anything inside of? That's just dumb. 
Stop bringing in pointless shops into the city. Like the city still has so many pointless buildings. I understand it's a big city, so some buildings will be pointless, but at least make a, a lot less of the buildings be pointless. Like there's a restaurant you can go into in the city and do absolutely nothing inside of it. You're just standing there. It's just dumb. Do not bring that back, please. At least don't bring back as many of them. So next on the list, the city races. <laughs> Again, probably an unpopular opinion, but the city races is stupid in my opinion because there's like puddles in the city that's just for the city races themselves. So like they meant to slow you down if you're on a skateboard or in the city, it's, what's it called, city race, whatever. I never even, part I participated in like probably one city race the whole time I had the game. And it was just dumb. <laughs> you got a chance to win VC or whatever, but it's still like, I don't understand the point of it. Like, I mean, I get it's like kind of for kids probably because you know, it's a city race, but still like, I just don't understand it. Next on the list, probably gonna be an unpopular one, but I'm gonna explain a little bit. Bland affiliations. There is no point in having affiliations in the game, in my opinion, if they're gonna look the same as every other affiliation with just different colors of paint. So in 2K22 for the PS5 Series X version, for those that don't know, that don't have the game, that's never seen the game, which is probably none of y'all watching. But um, anyway, if you don't have the game, you don't know. Basically in the city version of 22, you have different affiliations, but in different parts of the city that they're in, they look the same as the other parts. So for example, the North Side Knights looks almost identical to the South City Vipers. The only difference is the color theme and the color palette of the actual affiliation is different. So you might have the North Side Knights be what purple and yellow, and then the Vipers be like yellow and green. That's the only difference. That and like maybe you step up. The steps are probably different than that city. Like every part of or this part of the city, like the surrounding buildings, is what I'm trying to say. Looks the same in the Northside Knights is the Vipers. There's no difference at all. So if you're gonna have it like that. There's no point in having different affiliations. What, what part of what made affiliations fun in 2K16 and 17 and 15 was that each affiliation looked drastically different. So Sunset Beach looked like a beach, you know, Old Town looked like an old town. You know what I'm saying? Like each affiliation looked uniquely different than the last one. So that's why I believe it should not be back in 2K23 if they're going to be the same way because that is, to me, that defeats the purpose of a whole affiliation because it's all basically just one big city. So there's no point in having, you know, different affiliations in my opinion. But that's just my opinion though. So that's it for that one. So on to the next one. And that is, of course, the affiliation daily spin. It is so stupid to me. I don't understand it. The affiliation daily spin makes no sense because of the simple fact that you have no control over what you get. I mean, let's be real. Even in the current gen version of the last gen version of the daily spin, you still don't have that much control because I think that's rigged also. I think it's secretly rigged. That's just my opinion. I think the devs made it to where if you spin the wheel, no matter how much momentum you put on the actual button or how long you hold down the button to spin the wheel, it's still kind of rigged. Let's be real. But I'd rather have at least some control over what I spin on rather than have no control because even though the PS4, Xbox One version of 2K22's daily spin is probably rigged, you at least have some control over what you land on. On the PS5 Series X version of the city version of 22, you have no control at all. You just go up to the statue, press X or press A if you plan on Xbox, and you just see the little presents spinning by themselves. You have no control over what it lands on. The game purposely gives you what? Gatorade skill boost that you don't want or like NBA item that you also don't want, you really get VC and when you do get VC, you get like 500 VC, which is nothing. Or you get like, what else you get? Well, basically you get like stuff you don't really care about and don't need. You're not gonna get a million VC, which is what you want. You're not gonna get a million VC at all. You're not gonna get, you know, an hour of double XP, which is actually somewhat valuable. You're gonna get the worst prizes ever. Like 2K does this on purpose, they rig it. So because of that, if they're not gonna give us the option to at least have control over what we land on, in my opinion, they should just take it out of the game entirely or just bring back the you know wheel spin like it is on last gen. But that's just my opinion, so that's it for that one. And last but not least, the last thing that should not return in 2K23 for the city version is reskins of the same rep reward. 2K, I'm not surprised. I can't say I'm surprised because I'm not. I'm just disappointed. I expected it, but I did it at the same time because let me explain. So in 2K22 in the city version, if you didn't already know, a while back, around the time when go-karts were still kind of new, they would charge us like a, what, an extra 100,000 VC or more for a reskin of the same go-kart that we already earned for 1140. So they would literally have the same go-kart, but it's a different skin of that same go-kart in the store that we have to buy for like 100,000 plus VC. I don't remember how much it was exactly, but it was expensive for something we already unlocked with level 40. They just wanted more VC from us. It was a money grab, it was a cash grab, and it was dumb. So lastly, 2K, please do not bring back charging us for reskins of something we already unlocked 
for a season reward. That's just dumb. Like, it's, it's dumb. But knowing 2K, they're probably not going to listen. Even if they saw this video, they probably wouldn't listen because it's 2K. But that is one of the worst and most scummiest things they could have done in the entire game, which was give us something that's a reskin for uh, over 100,000 BC. Like, I could see if the, I could see if the go-karts they make us pay for would go faster than the go-karts we originally unlocked. I could see that. But being that that wasn't the case, it was just dumb. Like, the go-karts didn't go any faster. It didn't get any extra boost added onto it, like no extra nitrous and no nothing. Like, it's the same exact go-kart, but with just a reskin. It's dumb. But anyway, y'all, that's all I got for this video for today. So if you like the video or agree with anything I say, leave a like down below. Also, if you're new, hit the sub button. I post NBA 2K content all the time on this channel and on my other channel, Dre Plays, I post fighting game content. So it's going to be like Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 12 when that comes out, and Mortal Kombat 11 in the meantime. So um, anyway, y'all, with that being said, it's been your boy Dre. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.